it's time for a spelling analysis. And today, we will have a word with our new spelling of er. So if you hear er and I hold up three fingers, you know it's spelled like this. Are you ready? I am. Our first word is learn. We, are, we will learn how to spell. Learn. Go ahead and say learn. Let's sound it out. L er n. Did you notice? You got it. It's that new spelling of er. Go ahead and write learn and be sure to sound it out so I can hear you. Good. Now help me to write it. L er n. And how will we mark it? We'll underline the er. Let's sound it out. L er n. Learn. The next word is through. The dog ran through the tunnel. Through. Go ahead and say through. Let's sound it out. Th, er, oo. Do you see which oo? How many letters does it have? It has four. Th, er, oo. Go ahead and write through. Good job sounding it out. Now help me. Th, er, oo. Now, how will we mark it? We'll underline the th and we'll underline the oo. What sound of ah, oh, oo, ow, off, off is this? Ah, oh, oo, through, that's right, it's the third, so we'll put a three over it. Let's sound it out, th, er, oo, through. And this is the kind of through that means to go through something, to go through a tunnel or something like that. The next word is small. The cat is very small, small. Go ahead and say small. Let's sound it out. S, m, a, this is an a, 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 u, u. Go ahead and write small. Now, help me to write it. S, m, a, u, u. What sound of a, a, a do we hear? The third, so we'll put two dots over it because it's the broad sound. And notice we doubled the L. Why? We often double FLRS after a single vowel at the end of the word. And notice it's saying it's broad sound, aw, before an L. That's common in English too. The next word is bread. Would you like some peanut butter and bread? Bread. Go ahead and say bread. Let's sound it out. B, er, e. This is an e, a, a, d. Go ahead and write bread. Now help me to write it. B, er, e, d. And how will we mark it? We'll underline the e. What sound of e, a, a is this? You're right, it's the second sound, so we'll put a two over it. Let's read it, b, er, e, d, bread. The last word is outside. I would love to go outside, outside. How many syllables in outside? Hmm, hmm, two. We will say to spell outside. What will we say to spell? Outside. Let's say it together, ow, this is an ow, o, u, 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 t. The second syllable is side. I, D, silent final E. Oh, you want to know what kind of S to use? Well, let's sound out the whole word again. The first syllable is out, ow, use an ow, o, u, 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 t. The second syllable is side, S. This is a S, Z, I, D, silent final E. Now, help me to write it. The first syllable is out, out. The second syllable is side, s, i, d, silent final e. And how will we mark it? We'll underline the ow, and we'll put a line over the i saying it's long sound. We'll double underline the silent final e. Why do we have a silent final e inside? You're right, the vowel says it's long sound because of the E. Let's sound it out together. Out-si-d, outside. 
look at how uh, many words you've learned and how much more difficult they are. Great work. Combining the science of reading with the joy of learning. Learn more at foundations.logicofenglish.com.